Please refer to the previous course for the wiring between the motor and the drive motherboard. This lesson introduces the PWM connection and port test method between Arduino Uno motherboard and a drive motherboard. First, we connect the Arduino Uno motherboard with the drive motherboard using DuPont cables. Pay attention to each port when connecting. Then we use the USB cable to connect the Arduino Uno motherboard and a drive motherboard to the PC. In order to better observe the phenomenon, we connect the oscilloscope to the Arduino Uno motherboard through a port extension cable. This is the schematic diagram of the connection between Arduino Uno motherboard and a drive motherboard. Software can be downloaded from the MakerBus MKS GitHub. The files required for this lesson are the above two files, both of which can be downloaded from the MakerBus MKS GitHub. First, we open the command terminal and enter a drive tool. Then send the following command to configure the minimum value of PWM input mapping. Then send the following command to configure the maximum value of PWM input mapping. Send the following command to configure the attributes of the PWM mapping value and map the PWM to the motor position. Send the following command to save the configuration. Finally, send the following command to restart the drive motherboard. Now the drive PWM pin configuration is complete. Open the test file. Test file setting PWM duty cycle changes every 2 seconds. And the motor also rotates to change position. Before uploading the program, we first query the position of the motor and send a command to query the position of the motor. At this time, the motor position is the initial position 0. Next we upload the program to the Arduino Uno motherboard. The choice of development board and port has been mentioned in the previous tutorial, so I won't repeat it here. Here you can see the PWM waveform changes after the upload is successful. By observing the change of the PWM waveform, we can see that the duty cycle is gradually increasing. The motor reverses quickly until the motor position is at the minimum. When the motor position reaches the minimum value, because the duty cycle is set to change every 2 seconds, now the motor will rotate every 2 seconds and gradually change position. Send command in the command terminal to query the current position of the motor. After querying the position of the motor, it is found that the position of the motor is gradually rotating from the minimum to the maximum. When the motor stops rotating, we can see that the duty cycle has reached the maximum value by observing the oscilloscope. Send command to query the motor position. The motor position is the maximum value at this time. Now control the PWM duty cycle to gradually increase the test has been completed. Open the test file. Test file setting PWM duty cycle changes every 2 seconds. And the motor also rotates to change position. Before uploading the program, we first query the position of the motor and send a command to query the position of the motor. At this time, the motor position is the initial position 0. Next we upload the program to the Arduino Uno motherboard. Here you can see the PWM waveform changes after the upload is successful. The motor rotates forward rapidly until the motor position is at the maximum. When the motor position reaches the maximum value, because the duty cycle changes every 2 seconds, 
Now the motor will rotate every 2 seconds to gradually change position. Send command in the command terminal to query the current position of the motor. After querying the position of the motor, it is found that the position of the motor is gradually rotating from the maximum value to the minimum value. By observing the changes in the PWM waveform, we can see that the duty cycle is gradually decreasing. When the motor stops rotating, input the command to query the motor position, and the motor position is the minimum value at this time. Observing the oscilloscope, we can see that the duty cycle has reached the minimum value. Send the command to query the motor position, and the motor position has not changed. Now control the PWM duty cycle to gradually decrease the test has been completed. This is all of lesson. Thank you for watching.